In this video, I will show how to configure user authentication without password in a Cisco ASA. When authenticating a CLI user with SSH, you have the options not to use username and passwords, but to use public keys instead. To be able to use public keys, you need to create a key pair on each client you want to use, create or import key pairs. In my Macintosh I have here, they are already created and they are in the, in the directory .ssh under my home directory. The id.rsa.pub file here is the public key file, so have a, let's have a look at it. So this is the public key I have created since before. I copied that one and I connect to my firewall with username and password since I have not yet implemented the RSA key pair authentication. So, like this and my super secret password and once again show run username I have my Jimmy Username configured with a password that I just used So I don't want to mess with that that username for now. I want to add a new username here uh, I create a username GMA SSH and I add the option no password and I give myself priv 15 so I have created a username but instead of Defining the password, I say no password. Now, in order to log in, I need to add the key, uh, the public key for that user. So I you add an attribute, username, Jimmy SSH attributes, and I add an attribute of SSH authentication, public key. And after that, I enter the the key that I just copied. So I paste this one here like that. When it now is added here it looks like this show run username GMA SSH. I have username with no password defined and an attribute with a public key. This is it is this public key. It was not the format I pasted it in but it will automatically create or convert it to hexadecimal. So let's try it. <clears throat> when I connect with, I'm back at my computer again. Uh, when I connect, I need to add the username I defined, GMA SSH, at an IP address. And when I do that, I get right in without entering any password. Like that. Easy. <laughs> 